Well, hello, 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 you guys. It has been a while since I've been on, but I have been super busy. But as promised, don't worry. I'm always going to come back with something good and yummy and quick for you guys. All right, so this morning I am making boudin stuffed biscuits. And to top it all off, we're wrapping them in bacon and we're going to fry those bad boys. Oh my God, they're going to be so good. Let's get started. Let me adjust my camera so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so I've already done one here. So I've just taken some canned biscuits. I've sprinkled them with a little bit of all-purpose flour. As you can see here, I've just sprinkled them with a little bit of flour and I have my rolling pin here. So for my rolling pin, I'm just going to roll the biscuit dough out. And you wanna roll it uh, as flat as you can get it because you're going to stuff them. So you're just rolling the biscuit dough out, okay? Uh-oh, and I just have my biscuits right here on some foil. So there we go. We rolled it out. Now, I have store-bought, I hate talking like that. Here we go. I have store-bought uh, boudin. Y'all know the grocery store is going crazy with this coronavirus and all that. So when I went in the store, I got what I could grab. I'm not going aisle to aisle to get all the ingredients. So I'm just using store-bought boudin mix. Now, I live in Texas, so I'm using the DJ's uh, boudin rice. So you can find it in your uh, section over like by sausages and things like that. If you don't have it, I have a dirty rice video that you can use and stuff this just as well. Add a few more seasonings, and if you want to know more information on that, I will let you know. So just ask, send me, um, make a comment, or send me an inbox, and I'll let you know. But I'm just using store-bought boudin mix today. And like I said, I'm using the DJ's brand. I live in Texas, so this is what I am using to stuff my biscuits this morning. So this is cold. I let it sit out till it gets to room temperature. It's a block because it's going to be cold. It's going to be like a block of rice. So I've just kind of like cut them in squares so that I can stuff my biscuits with it. So for the first one here, I just have a square of it and I'm just going to put it in here. I'm just going to make it so that it'll go right in the middle of my biscuit there. So I'm going to turn the camera so you guys can see that I've put that little booty in right there in the middle of that rolled out biscuit. So now I'm going to take the biscuit mix. I'm going to wrap it around. You kind of want to make it hug it so that it'll stay in there. You want to make sure that your booty and stuffing stays in there, okay? So you just kind of want to wrap it, give it a hug with it, and then just roll that biscuit dough right over that booty. For your edges, just go ahead and just mash them in this remember this is biscuit dough so it's very pliable so just gonna roll it up like so make sure that it's all in there then we're gonna take some bacon we're gonna take some bacon here and we're just going to wrap these with the bacon just gonna wrap them now, if you have a toothpick or something, you can go ahead and use that. Uh, I don't have any toothpicks today. So I'm going to just have to use my tongs when I'm deep frying them so that uh, the bacon stays well wrapped around it. So I'm just going to do one more so you guys can see. Get it down. And if you guys ever had like a boudin kalashi, this is very similar to, uh, to that. All right. So I'm just rolling out the dough. Gonna get another square of boudin mix here. Gonna put that right in the middle. Take my dough and roll it around. Take those edges and make sure you close them off really well. Grab a strip of bacon and wrap it around there. So I'm just going to continue to get the uh, biscuits all stuffed. When I'm ready to fry them, I'll be right back. All right, so I've got them all rolled up here. I have my oil heated here. 
So we're gonna go ahead and give them a deep fry. And remember I was saying when you roll them, if you have toothpicks, you can use the toothpicks to hold that bacon in place. But because I don't have tooth toothpicks today, I'm just going to make sure that once I get them in the oil, I'm just gonna hold it down so that the seal of my bacon um, stays together. Now once it stays together, once it's all fried together, then uh, I can let it go. All right, here we go. them as they're frying. Turn them so that they fry evenly. And I'm just frying two at a time as you see. Just give them a good turn as they're frying. Make sure that all the dough cooks. You want it to be nice and flaky. Now you can add cheese in these if you want to, pepper jack cheese or whatever it is that you like to add. Uh, if you don't want to, you don't have to. You see, I did not. But there's a lot of people who like uh, cheese inside their boudin, boudin balls, things like that. So you can do that if you choose to. I just chose not to. And you know when they're ready because they just kind of like start to float freely in the um, bubbling. The bubbling from the oil seems to slow down a little bit as well, too. So I would say frying these for about three to four minutes, constantly moving them. Constantly moving them around. You want to make sure that they fry evenly. Fry evenly. My bacon looks nice and crisp around there. Those look yummy. Yummy, yummy. All right, so I just have some paper towels lined here on my tray. We're gonna go ahead and get these out. See that? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna line it here on my paper towel. Give that one another turn. Y'all see that? Oh my goodness. I'll put them here. Let them drain. All right, let's get the next two in there. And I'm just holding it, like I said, because I don't have the toothpicks and I don't want my bacon to unwrap. Once it gets a good seal on it, you can let it go. Now I'm frying this on, I have an electric stove, so mine is in between the four and five. So I guess that would be like a medium low. You want to fry in small batches because remember you have to continue to move it so you don't want to overload your pan and then they burn. I'm 
still frying. We're almost there. We have three left, four left, I'm sorry. So I'm just holding it in place. If you have toothpicks, this would be much easier, you guys. Much easier if you had the toothpicks just to hold it in place. But I don't have toothpicks and I am not going to fight the crowds of the store for toothpicks. So I'll just hold it. These are going to be so good. So good. My kids are going to be so excited because they love boudin and they love boudin kolaches. So this is kind of like the alternative to it. And I'm sure they're going to be a lot better because they're made with mama's love, right? Made with mama's love. <laughs> All right. So let's get back to it and just hold to get in place there. Once you feel like it has a nice seal on it, once it fries good, it'll stick. We'll get our second one in there. Remember to move them around often so that they fry evenly all around. And I'm just holding it until it gets a nice brown on the side that the seal is on, kind of like you see on that one right here. Once you know it has that good fry on it, you can let it go. Let's turn that one over as well. And these are just frying for about three to four minutes on a medium low heat. This is the last batch. They smell so good, y'all. All right, these are the last two and they are ready to come out. So we're gonna go ahead and grab those and let them drain on the paper towel as well. Let them drain, get that extra grease off of them. All right, y'all check out these bed boys here oh my god boudin stuffed into a biscuit wrapped in bacon and fried oh my god this is not for everyday consumption whatsoever but it is a yummy 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 delight for every now and then so brunch um lunch breakfast whatever it is that you want to utilize this for oh my gosh you guys i could just imagine how they taste so i'm going to go ahead and make sure my fire is off and scoop that on over because that is piping hot all righty so let me see let me get a knife i'll get a knife here and i'm going to cut one that has been cooled, I'm gonna cut one open. So let me grab this one because I think it's probably a little cool. And this is how it looks, it's gonna be so crunchy. I don't know if I wanna cut it or bite it. I'm gonna bite it. Listen for the crunch. Mmm. Y'all, yeah. that's good. That bacon is nice and crisp. Mm mm mm. Yeah. Dip it since it, I'm doing it for breakfast. I can't even talk. We're having these for breakfast. Dip them in some honey. Drizzle them with some honey. Or some powdered sugar. Let me see if I can find my powdered sugar. Hold on. Mm mm mm. No, oh, I'm not. All right, y'all. So I found my powdered sugar. Sprinkle them with some powdered sugar. I've got some syrup. Now you guys get some warm syrup and do this. I'm just doing this for video. Drizzle them 
with some pancake syrup since it's since if you know since it's breakfast for us if you guys are not doing for breakfast like a peach preserve or something like that would be really good with it too y'all check these out so young me thank y'all for watching i sure miss making videos for you guys so as usual if i'm taking a break i am working but i am definitely thinking of you guys and thinking about my next yummy quick recipe you guys thank you for watching check it out and give this recipe a try let me know how you like it thank you Mwah.